Thank you for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot. It is April the 9th, and this is going to be an old boy rating for the karmic situation you or your person may be involved in. The way I'm going to do this is six cards for your person, six cards for the karmic situation, and a few clarifiers from this deck in front of us, okay? So let's begin. And by the way, there will be an extended on my Patreon, new level, $4.44, affordable level, right, for everyone. So let's do this and see what's coming up. So three cards for your person. First, second. Feel free to fast forward if need be. Three cards for the karmic situation, please. Or the karmic, let's just say the karmic. The karmic. One. <laughs> we take I feel this one is wanting to come out. We take this, okay? So let's get three more cards for further explanation. Your person. For your person. Your person card. Okay, something has come over. I'm going to look at it. Let's see. Okay. Thank you all for your likes and subscriptions. They really do help the channel grow so we can have a bigger community and have more energies come in, right? For the karmic. For those of you that are new, I often resonate with twin flame soulmates. High level connections. So if you're just dating, you may not be into this. If you're just dating and not, not really involved in anything right now, you may not relate. Just a heads up. For the karmic. Come on. Not looking. <laughs> and I just want you guys to see what's going on here. One more for the karmic, please. One, right? Okay, so let's begin. There at the bottom, it's very interesting actually. At the bottom of both decks are wish cards. We have the Nine of Cups, which is all about a wish. And mind the darkness, I hope you don't mind. I just was trying to keep it kind of low, but that's okay. So we have the wish card here. Still can't really see it. Nine of Cups. Um, yeah, interesting. And we also have another wish card from this deck. It is not um, titled, right? It is Angel de la Nuit. It's like the wish card of the deck, okay? So let's also get a few more cards here so we don't have to pull any more. Feel free to fast forward or timestamp if you stayed on here. I'd really appreciate it. I'll try to do it. Okay, so between the karmic and your person... the karmic and the person you're inquiring about energy between the karmic and the person you are inquiring about oh my god it's like sticking to me okay okay let's begin everyone thank you and at the bottom of the deck in case you're wondering is the ace of swords um, this can often talk about harsh communication or something by the looks of it that needs to be spoken of um, getting brought up from the past or is being spoken of from the past. It's the energy there, okay? So let's begin with your person and see what's happening. For the first card, we have the Hierophant. You may be dealing with someone who's actually like very high level. And I say that because the Hierophant can represent even a priest, right? Or a church organizer um, or someone who owns something like that, a corporation. This is someone who's probably publicly known as well as we do have the picture of the TV here. And it says rescue station. This may be also a fire marshal, someone who works in a school, a hotel, a gym who owns a very large property property or who works in like a castle type, maybe a museum or something to do with that. The airport is on here, library as well. 
and butcher energy as well. So that's heavy. Um, this person could just be associated with organizations like that in the community. But you're dealing with someone here who is very respected, very well-mannered, what I get, because, you know, they have a public persona. So at least in public, they look a certain way, um, look probably very proper. But as you can also see, these cards are very detailed. I'm noticing, just as I sit here, in the home where this TV is, there are, um, you know, wooden wooden pieces over the window. It's not cut. Oh, my God, I just had the scariest vision, guys. I am so shook right now that scared the crap out of me so i don't think you guys will be able to see that let me get some more light here um probably not but there is someone peeping through the window up here um very dark energy okay so your person could be surrounded by dark energies as well or at least one very dark energy that's continually trying to get in because they've boarded up the windows. I find I see this a lot in the United States, um, boarded up windows. I don't have that much around here, but you may be from the United States, right? There is, however, like I said, a dark energy around this person or trying to um, find out about this person or find something, okay? So let's see what else. So we have the temperance in reverse. Um, this may be refle a reflection that your person has lost their patience in a situation. They may be in a situation that is completely toxic. I'm hearing like unhealing. Um, they may have tried to help someone out in a situation, but that has gone sour. That has gone south is what I hear. Um, there's some sort of toxic toxicity surrounding this person. Take a good look at this. There's a needle involved as well. Could be kind of a poisonous energy that this person is around. I really feel that this person has given a lot. And there's someone here, possibly a female, that has taken a lot. There may be um, a separation right now. And the dark energy looking in the window could be the karmic trying to get back in. Because in reverse, we have the karmic standing up. I feel like your person has helped that karmic in the past. And now the karmic is the one kind of stronger and the other person, your person, has lost something, okay? Whether it just be their time, energy, blood, sweat, and tears, money, um, they've given something. And now the karmic is here. And may I mention in this picture, the karmic is zombie. The masculine is still human. Um, so very interesting, okay? Let's see what else. So we have the King of Hazards. Now, I feel like Hazards is Wands, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's just use it. Um, let's just take the name of what it is, Hazard. We have someone who is feeling very, I mean, it looks just like the man in, in the screen. You know, what's unfortunate is I almost feel like this toxic energy has taken over your person or is really, really attempting to. But for some of you, this creep has already creeped through the windows and gotten in. This is literally the same person in the business suit um, sitting here, but with the cautious tape around them. They are zombied now. This person has given too much, and I just feel that whoever they've given to has in some way, um, one way or another, affected them in a bad way. So your person may have started out really proper or great, and they are turning out right now to be just mortified or mortifying. Um, I mean, gosh, empty for some. Because I'm getting like mortician is the word that wants to come out. But I just feel I'm really sorry for some of you that saw your person go down. And for some of you, what happened is this person tried to save the karmic from, let's just say, possibly a drug addiction or something like that. And it looks like they have... Um, somehow gotten the poison in them okay i feel like it may have been a slow process but it looks like it's happened here very sad okay let's move on to the karmic energy so we have the knight of cups um this could be representing the karmic could be uh air or sorry maybe an air sign but a water sign but what i'm really getting is this was the karmic coming back in so 
maybe they knew each other before, even if it was just a being an acquaintance or a school, because I do see the brain energy here. Maybe they met on a vacation before. Um, but I see this karmic coming in towards your person. This is someone who used their brain to get in there. Um, when this karmic came, I see that they were kind of half zombie. So it was like taking over. Um, that could literally be a drug addiction that, you know, maybe it just started off one, one whatever at a time, one pill, one sip, one toke, one whatever at a time. And it has um, or is taking them over. When this karmic got here, this karmic was taken over and has spread this poison by the looks of it. Now, your person may not have taken the drug or taken whatever substance um, that is toxic here, but the energy definitely had taken over your person, okay? Probably turned them into a totally different person. So we have the four of hazards here. Um, so this is not, hazards are not wands, I'll tell you that, because I know we have wands in here. Uh, this could be pentacles, I'm going to say, or probably swords. That would make sense. So anyhow, I feel like the karmic moved in towards your person. Your person had a full supply of what they needed. And this is why this person got their way in or snuck their way in. Um, I see a masculine here sitting with all the food that he needs, all the protection that he needs, um, everything he needs, right? Probably financially secure, uh, protected, safe. And I see people trying to get in and, you know, the karmic being one of them. There's two masculines and one female trying to get into this special space. Um, and I feel like, you know, one of them succeeded at this. And that is the karmic. Whoa, the wheel of fortune in reverse. So usually the wheel of fortune can depict luck or a change of events. In the reverse, um, it's technically the opposite, but I feel more like this was not a lucky thing. This was an unlucky situation that this person got wrapped up in. It was probably unexpected, but deserved if they let this person in and let this person come and manipulate them. Um, I'm not saying that they deserve that, but like they let this person in. I feel like one of the ways this person got in may be because they're quite, I'm hearing spectacular looking, like sparkly, shiny, like they looked good and it was all deception. It was all covered up with the glitz and glamour. Okay. So let's start clarifying these. We have the Hierophant and the Fool below. I really do feel that this person was doing very well. Maybe they started something new or maybe they were looking to start something new with someone. Um, this Fool card for me, I'm not getting any bad energy at this time. But what could have happened here is the karma could have came in and said, hey, let's try something new, painted a really pretty picture, um, and basically got this person in there. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have a Queen of Swords under the Temperance. So did they get married? Not sure. Uh, but this is a very strong energy of control. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This was someone who was holding back the truth is what I get because this queen of swords has the sword facing down, her eyes shut. It's actually the same character from the fool card. So I do feel that this person that came into your person's life was a very good talker and I'm hearing smooth talker. I do feel as well that these two had uh, a past connection. Now I'm going to tell you something I picked up. I didn't really want to spit it out because it's kind of unnecessary because it's not coming up. But your person may have actually had a drug addiction at some point. This may be how they knew this person and maybe they wanted to help them. Okay, but this person um, is dishonest. This person used what they know about your person to get what they want. And it looks like what they said is something along the lines of, let's try this again. I miss you. I want to be with you. And somehow they got in here. Okay. So as for the karmic, now remember, I told you this person came in, um, like I said, I do feel like they knew them from the past and we have the queen of wands and this is the energy of return. So I do feel like this person one way or another 
whether they got your person to return to them or they returned to your person, um, they came in flashy, they came in sparkly, they came in bright, they came in strong. And I'm seeing or I'm, I'm catching this energy of like a web that caught this person. They caught them in the web, okay? Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, as I said, um, the karmic saw your person had everything they needed, all the food, shelter, protection, money, Eight of Pentacles. Um, and this is why they wanted to get into your person's spot, into your person's healthy, safe space. And unfortunately, when people are toxic or you know, addicted to other things. Um, they don't, they don't care about your safe space. They don't, it will get taken over. And that is a fact. Well, from what I've seen, I should say. Okay. Look at this. So the wheel of fortune is clarified by the 10 of swords, especially in this deck. The 10 of swords is just very sad. There's someone literally floating in the water, half gone. Like they just one little push and they're done. But what this tells me is maybe this person thought this was going to be something good. And like I said, it's done nothing but bring misfortune, bad luck, and drain the life out of this person. Unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry. So let's do a little clarification and then I'm going to move into the extended because this is where we're going to get deeper. So we have the firm foundation as the first card. You know, what I'm getting is at one point, your person may have walked around, away from the karmic. Like I said, like maybe your person had issues too, right? And they walked away and built something for themselves. Your person started off very healthy here, okay? They built something for themselves. They built a new foundation. Um, and this is exactly what the karmic wanted, that security, right? Wow, we have another base chakra energy. Let me just show you from the first one. The firm foundation also highlights the area of the base chakra with the red energy as well. So it looks like this person really did come in and say, let's have a fresh start. Let's try this again. Um, possibly also using sexuality to get in there. And like the base chakra is down by those organs, right? Um, so that's very interesting. And let's see what the third card is. Awareness. So either your person was very aware that this is something they should not get into, that they are going to be manipulated, or the karmic had a very high level of awareness um, that they could get what they wanted, or that they could manipulate this situation, that they could have another go around, that your person would allow them in, that your person is kind. This karmic, remember how I said that like, there may be this brain connection. Now, that could be, like I said, school or coaching or something they did together involving thinking and thought. Or this could also be saying the karmic here is extremely manipulative and was able to manipulate this person to allow them back in. So I'm going to ask where this is going right now, and then I'm going to move into the extended. Okay, guys? I just want to get a couple cards for that. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's very interesting, actually. And then the Knight of Wands. So this is literally reiterating the message of the fact that these two, it was not their first time going around this circle. Um, somehow this person was, for some, somehow, this karma came in and convinced this person to have a new tr a new start here, okay? I mean, there couldn't have been a worse decision, I think, in this person's life. And I really feel bad for them because now they probably need to recover from what, from being kind. That's what. Um, with the Ten of Cups, yeah, it came in and it was over just as soon as it began. It was always over is what I get here. Um, it was always the other person here looking for something, trying to get something here. We have the Knight of Wands. So as much as I feel like this person did welcome this new beginning, I do feel with the Knight of Wands being the final card out of these three, um, this is about walking away. This is about no longer staying there. However, this is also pause-ish energy because this person, though they're walking away, is also looking back at the karmic. So this is a little bit 
heavy. Um, I'd like to pull a couple more cards here just to, to give you a little more. Yeah, so the Knight of Wands is being clarified by happy life, happy this, happy that, right? Um, but the interesting thing is, is the only person that was happy here was the karmic um, with the sun. Vexation. What's vexation? Vexation. This karmic may hold um, vexation, may hold resentment or anger of some sort, or, or maybe like, I'm going to win this. It talks about the dark side. Very interesting, the dark side. Okay, and the walking away energy. Don't forget if you would like to sign up for Patreon. I have a new level of $4.44, and this extended will be there. So what it shows me, too, with the stoke coming up is it's your person that plans to leave the karmic. The stoke, it talks about denoting change of residence for the better sooner or later. So sooner or later, this person is walking away. And I hope that that gives you a good amount of information. If you want to join me on Patreon, I would love to see you there. I really appreciate you all and all the likes and subscriptions. Please let me know where you're from because I love to hear that. I love your, especially in the States or like just like these weird names. I just love them. Like somewhere Alabama or whatever. Someone had an Alabama one. I was just like, this is so cool. Anyhow, guys, bye for now. Thank you so much if I'm forgetting to say anything, which I probably am. I'll say it next time. You can check out my other channel, um, my Patreon. You can book a reading. And yeah, you can get $10 off code 44 on recorded readings. Okay. Bye guys. Thank you.